Some of you may remember that I covered the project Art Can Die a while back. Since that original video, the team has continued developing and making progress. And with the public sale now open, I want to give you all an update on how the product is doing and the new details that have been revealed. For those of you that missed the original video, I will also be covering the general details of what Art Can Die is all about, as it is a fairly unique and interesting concept. But before I get into the details, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell icon so you do not miss out on more videos like this, as well as everything else I post here on the channel. And this is a video in partnership with the Art Can Die project. So let's kick it off and let's start off with an overview of the project. Art Can Die was created with the core goal of saving and revolutionizing the art industry. The project consists of a decentralized ecosystem of innovative blockchain technology such as their native DAI token, the tokenization of art as NFTs, a DAO, a metaverse and much more. All of these features are being combined to create a platform where anyone can come to engage in a more fair, transparent and secure art world. After all, the art industry has been around for a very long time and while it has proven to provide some highly profitable opportunities, those opportunities have generally only been available to the upper class of wealthy investors. Some of the biggest problems with the current form of the art industry are outlined here on the site. First, art is known to be very illiquid. Physical works of arts can also have added challenges of needing to be safely stored and transported when not being displayed somewhere. The art industry is also highly centralized, with a small handful of auction houses and other entities holding massive influence and setting high barriers to entry. Those same entities also contribute to the high level of bureaucracy related to transfers of ownership, custody and insurance. Lastly, there is a general lack of transparency in terms of pricing transactions and the black market for art can make it difficult to know what the piece's fair value is or whether or not something is actually a good investment. As you can see here, the estimated value of the art industry ranges from 70 to 800 billion dollars which gives you an idea of how much potential a project looking to revolutionize this industry could have. Along with looking to revolutionize the existing traditional art industry, Art Can Die is also positioning itself to benefit from the growth in popularity of the digital art market, which is currently generating around $2 billion in volume every month. So now that you have an understanding of the big potential and current problems in the art industry, let's take a look at how Art Can Die is going to solve those problems. Before we look at the specific features being implemented, let's take a look at the, the team. And uh, yeah, it is a big factor, of course, in why Art Can Die has the potential to achieve its ambitious goals. So the project was co-founded by Jean-Marc Gossens, Wayne Trod, and Gal Bowen. So Gossens and Bowen are both international attorneys at law specializing in the blockchain and crypto fields. So they are well prepared to take care of any legal obstacles. Traub is an acclaimed artist specializing in modern art, cinema, and the performing arts. You may also recognize Quentin Herbrecht, the founder and CEO of MarkChain, who is also serving as an advisor to Art Can Die. Carol Mitchells is an art marketing specialist and advocate, as well as an exhibition artist in major museums. Badr Busaba is a best-selling author, a speaker, economist, and AI specialist. Lastly, Dr. Kier Finlow Bates is a blockchain expert with a PhD in mathematics and education as well as an author and software technology inventor. As you can see, all of these members bring unique and essential skills to the project. Additionally, members of the Art Can Die DAO will be able to participate in governance and consulting to help shape the future of Art Can Die, so there will be even more talent devoted to the project as it grows in popularity. Speaking of the DAO, it is being created to facilitate easy and intuitive participation in the art industry through blockchain, DeFi and NFT tech, while also optimizing the synergies between artists, investors and art consumers. In other words, artists will be able to focus on their creative efforts, while the business and funding aspects of the industry will be handled by Art Can Die. There are already around 10 unique and impressive artists and projects being supported through Art Can Die, which I will cover a bit later on, but they goes to show that the system being created here is already being proven to be effective. So before we take a look at some of those projects, I want to cover the native DAI token as it is a big part of what powers the Art Can Die ecosystem. DAI is available on both Ethereum and the Binance Smart Chain and can be transferred between the two over a dedicated bridge. It has a total supply of 21 million tokens, 
which are distributed as shown here on this chart. A total of 35% is going towards the token sale, with 5.35 million of those being available in the current public round. 20% of the supply is dedicated towards rewarding the artists who supports the project and joins the ecosystem. 15% is being used to provide liquidity as well as stake in rewards. The team and advisors have a combined 10%, the reserves consists of 8%, and the DAO and marketing receive 6% respectively. The DAI token has several different use cases within the ecosystem. It can be staked to earn rewards, held to participate in governance and have influence on the art projects and artists being supported. We can see the details of the current public sale round right here. It opened yesterday and there are 4.35 million tokens available at a price of 40 cents per token. The minimum investment is $100 and there is no vesting or cliff with this round, so as soon as the token is listed, you will receive your allocation. The first pre-sale round already raised $400,000 from 2,000 registered users, which goes to show that there is already interest in the project. If you want to take part in the public sale, you can do so through the link in the description. Moving on, we can take a look at some of the artists and projects already being supported through Art Can Die, starting with the documentary Everest Recycling. This film follows the ascent of Everest by French director Jean-Michel Chorda as he addresses the environmental concerns of the waste and pollution on the world's tallest mountain. Next up, we have the artist director Jacques, who is known to live in a mysterious spaceship from which he communicates to the earth through digital art. One of his projects, the New Ark, is also being supported. It will be an immersive site providing visitors with a one-of-a-kind experience. Another artist being supported is the rising star of Asian art and fashion, Fanapast. She has already collaborated with well-known luxury brands such as Gucci and Vogue and has had her works exhibited in the New York Times Square. As you can see, these arts are just 3 out of 10 art projects already a part of Art Can Die, so if you want to learn more or look into the others, you can do so right here. Bringing in these artists and projects is a win for everyone involved, as they receive the support and funding necessary to create their art, while the community and general public benefit from access to that art, and the Art Can Die ecosystem expands of course because of its influence. So, to sum everything up, this is a project that stands out due to its unique goals and approach to solving their targeted problems in the art industry. The team is experienced and is already proven themselves by bringing in numerous projects to the ecosystem and these current projects are just the beginning. Additionally, as we can see here on the team's ambitious roadmap, another feature coming in the future will be the Art Can Die Metaverse, where there will be ways to experience art like never before. It will also provide new economic opportunities, such as the ability to earn rewards of NFTs or DAI tokens. If you want to learn more, you can do so through the links in the description. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.